The Moon Jae-in administration recently revealed its plan to boost South Korea's economic relations with Southeast Asia. Some Korean firms have been hit hard recently by China's de facto sanctions against South Korea over THAAD, so they're turning south to find new business. Yoon Shin reports. Countries in Southeast Asia are rapidly becoming major trade partners of South Korea. Within just a year, the growth rate of South Korea's exports to members of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations has jumped by nearly 30 percent. The 10-member ASEAN region is seen as a place of ever-growing economic potential, with the region's GDP consistently rising since 2010, and the upswing is set to continue for the coming years. The rising economy leads to market expansion, so ASEAN makes the ideal trade partner for Korea. But with economic growth, the region's demand will also become more sophisticated. Producing high-quality goods and a feasible market strategy are a must for Korean companies. Researchers agree that Korea's economic interests have been focused too much on China and the U.S. for years now. All the more reason why long-term solid business plans for Southeast Asia are needed, as many countries in the region are considered a relatively new market for Korean firms. As of now, Korea's trade with ASEAN is rather limited, highly concentrated in Vietnam and Indonesia. In order to expand the horizon, we will need thorough market research of each country, as well as different long-term business plans made specifically for each region. The diversification of global markets is not only an opportunity, but a much-needed strategy for Korea. Since July last year, the loss sustained by local firms from China's economic retaliation over the deployment of the U.S. missile defense system THAAD is estimated to be billions of U.S. dollars. Experts say it was a wake-up call for Korea, and with that, businesses across various sectors need to make sure to avoid the risks of over-dependency on limited number of markets. China is expected to keep nurturing the growth of its own companies. And as long as North Korea's provocations linger as a root source that complicates the relations between Seoul and Beijing, it's best that South Korea lessens its economic reliance on China. Yoon Shin, Arirang News.